Hey everyone, it's Greg Brandon again, and this week we are covering speech two, which is for me the immigration crime debate speech. So basically, this week we had to do a public speaking outline, and we had to do a substantial subject in the subject of what's major in business, international, local, and state, or federal. I decided to do immigration, how it affects the overall United States and the society, the crime, and what goes along with all that. So, here we go. Do you ever think immigration would become such a hot topic in today's society and maybe political world? I didn't, that's for sure. Yeah, people have been crossing the border illegally for years and years and years and especially in California where immigration and the illegal immigrant population is one of the greatest in the country along with the state of Texas where we live. We see it every day. Being a police officer on the street several years ago, it was especially getting pretty bad towards the end of the Obama administration and the start of the Trump administration. People would be here. They wouldn't have the necessary documentation to support why they were here or how they got here. And I would always ask, hey, by chance, how did you get here? And I would always have a Spanish speaker with me just to talk to them so I wouldn't disrespect them and so they can't say anything bad. But some of the main points that I'm going to be talking with are working with ICE, talking with families who have crossed illegally, what they do for a living, how it affects the business aspect of the economy, um, helping deport the people who don't need to be here, like the criminal immigrants, the gang members, NS-13, um, the people who commit murders in California, um, just a lot of stuff that goes on that in, uh, affects immigration. Uh, one of the main points is recent news stories about how many people have been actually killed by illegal immigrants over the past year, several years. So we all know that there were two wars, one in Afghanistan and one in Iraq. Well, the total number of Americans that were affected by the two wars, the KIA or killed in action, weren't nearly as great as the people who were actually taken from us by the illegal immigrants. So these are all the people, I'm just not talking about like shooting or um, robberies or uh, harsh crimes like that. It covers driving a Drive all under the influence, um, DWI crashes, everything. Um, one of the main websites I found it at was whitehouse.gov and uh, highlights that 63,000 people have been killed by illegal immigrants over the past several years. That's more than double the amount of people we lost in Iraq and Afghanistan combined. So, um, working with ICE, being on the street here in Houston, I've come in contact with many people who have actually been crossing illegally for several years and they've been committing crimes. I've caught several people and have had ICE come and pick them up. Of course, they've had uh, detainer warrants through ICE, which is a warrant that they need to, or that they issue for s certain people who commit crimes and they can't find them, so they issue a uh, warrant for their arrest. Um, there's actually quite a few people like that here in Houston. And then talking with families who work, who have crossed illegally and who actually work to support their families, they are the ones who need to be here because they support their families. They, they work very hard, they work long hours, they work the dirty jobs that we don't want to work and 
I think that's where most of the animosity is coming for from the other ethnic populations that oh they're taking our jobs well the truth is that we're not willing to do those jobs the Hispanic population is because they're here to better themselves better their families and a lot of them send money back to their families in countries like Guatemala Honduras and Mexico and uh, that's another point is that a lot of people actually are mixed from other countries like Colombia uh, Guatemala uh, Honduras, Belize, they're just El Salvador. They're all trying to escape the impoverished governments that they have and um, impoverished countries and try to provide better life here in the country. Um, it's very hard to obviously catch every single one of them, but I believe most of them, most of them are here for a better life, not to commit crimes. So that's definitely opened my eyes about what happens to the people and where they go here in the country about um, like what they do, um, what type of jobs they work, um, the business aspect of it on a local level is that they're your everyday dishwashers in the kitchens. Um, they work. They sweep floors, they build your house, they pour the concrete foundation for your house, they mow your lawn, they do all the jobs that we either don't want to or don't have time to do, so we pay them to do it. And, uh, and sometimes it's not at the minimum wage, it's way below. So these people, most of them are good and they're seeking refuge in the United States for their families, for themselves, and to avoid getting killed in the like, drug war in Mexico or the gang war down in El Salvador with MS-13, where a lot of them have uh, come from. So, all right, guys. Well, this has been a video and a video two. So, later.